Hello and welcome in to another edition of Siena Saints Weekly. I'm your host Andrew Champagne. In just a moment we'll be joined by men's basketball forward Ryan Rossiter, but first let's take a look at the week that was in Siena Athletics. Women's basketball split two games this past week. They earned their first win of the season last Monday against Colgate, coming out on top 66-56. Serena Moore poured in 20 points, along with 7 rebounds and 6 assists in the win. She had another big game Saturday against Wagner, but her 25 points and 12 rebounds weren't enough as the Seahawks eked out a 64-61 win. The return to the arc Saturday, hosting Central Connecticut State at 2 o'clock. Cross Country finished out their season Saturday at the IC4 ECAC Championships. The men finished 18th, while the women checked in 22nd. Swimming and diving was off this past week. They're in the midst of a month-long break that will end on December 4th when the Saints host CW Post at the Siena Swim Center. And in men's basketball, the Saints had a milestone win Saturday at Northeastern. Siena came out on top 84-68. And joining me now is MAC preseason player of the year, Ryan Rossiter. Ryan, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. First of all, congratulations on the win. What was clicking for you guys against the Huskies? Um, I think defensively we were all on the same page. Everyone was talking, moving throughout the zone, and uh, our defense really fueled our offense, which led to uh, some easy buckets. This was the first win of Mitch Bonaguro's head coaching tenure at Siena. How did it feel to get one after a tough start against two good teams in Vermont and Minnesota? Uh, it was great. I know how much he, uh, how, how much he wanted it. He, uh, he worked very hard for this day, and I think we all wanted to give back and get him his first win, so we were all just as happy for him as he was. And, uh, you know, it was a big day, and now he had to move on to Butler on Tuesday. I wasn't there, but I heard through the grapevine that the Northeastern fans got on you a little bit. When you're on the road, does that stuff get to you? I actually enjoy it, to be honest. I really like going up to Niagara and a couple of schools like that because their fans are pretty ruthless and uh, they'll say pretty much anything to you. And uh, it gets me fired up and I like playing in that atmosphere. What's the toughest venue you've ever played at? Um, top of my head, Niagara's up there. They, they really kill you in there. Uh, their student section really gets on you, but pretty much anywhere we go, Ryder's pretty tough too. At your current clip, you'll become just the second Siena player ever to score 1,000 points and grab 1,000 rebounds. Is that something to think about? Um, every now and then, but more importantly, I just focus on team goals. And uh, you know, our goal is a regular season championship and then a MAC tournament championship. And um, you know, individual, in, individual stats and uh, awards will come with team success. That's how I feel. The first to accomplish that feat was Lee Matthews in the early 1990s. I understand you met him at a function at Georgia Tech last year. Tell us yeah. a little bit about that. Uh, it was a great experience. I mean, I've read about him. I've seen his name in the record books. And uh, it was always someone I wanted to meet. And having the opportunity to meet him was, uh, was special. I was able to talk to him for a little while and uh, just joke around about his rebounding record <laughs> and whatnot. So uh, he's, he's a very good, very good guy, and it was, uh, it was an honor meeting him. You mentioned you've got Butler coming up Tuesday night at the Times Union Center. Massive game. You guys ready to play such an opponent in just your fourth game of the season? Yeah, I think so. We've uh, really been preparing well. Yesterday's practice went great. Everyone was focused in, put the Northeastern win behind us. And uh, today we'll do the same and just kind of zone in and worry about what we have to do to take care of business against Butler. Good to hear. Now, favorite part of the show, the lightning round. Favorite movie? Uh, wow, too many to pick from, but uh, Dumb and Dumber's up there. Uh, Wedding Crashers, a bunch of comedies. Favorite TV show? Um... Probably Sports Center or uh, Boardwalk Empire right now. Boardwalk Empire is pretty good. Yeah, First season. Really into that one right now. They did a lot of research on that. I was reading a few things about that the other night. Your biggest pet peeve? Um, when you hold the door open for someone and they don't say thank you. Really? Bothers me a lot. See, what, what irks me is when people don't hold the door for you at all. Yeah, I mean, I, it, it's rough enough. You, we're tall people. We have to duck under the door frame as it is. Help us out a little bit. Here. Yeah. The toughest player that you've ever played against? Um, maybe uh, Cole Aldrich from Kansas, probably. The funniest member of your team. I know up until this season you were holding that <laughs> crown pretty good, but you're getting some opposition this year. I think uh, Connor Fenlon. What's the funniest thing he's done this season? He's just, he's out of his mind. I mean, he always has a joke or something that he's doing that's crazy that just makes you laugh. He's just... He's got a crazy sense of humor, so you just laugh at him, I think, more than with him. Last question I'm going to ask you. You've waffled on this several times. We've gotten several different answers the many times we've asked you this. <laughs> if you could have dinner with any three oh. people, dead or alive, who would they be? Um, right now, maybe uh, Nucky Thompson from uh, Boardwalk Empire, Vince Vaughn, and uh, Derek Jeter. What would you advise Derek Jeter about his current contract situation with the Yankees, considering they're about $50 million apart? 
Uh, I just hope they make a deal at some point. Uh, he's, I think he's a Yankee at heart, and uh, it, would just look, it would look really weird seeing him in a different uniform. So hopefully they come to an agreement. Big Yankee fan, the Staten Island, New York native, Ryan Rossiter, here with us on Siena Saints Weekly. And that's going to do it for us this week. Ryan, thank you once again for stopping by. I'm Andrew Champagne, and I'll see you next week.